Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you top bottom up low it does not matter this guy is a dominant striker one of the best kickboxers the ufc has ever seen and in terms of the punching technique and the jab as good as anyone in this division all right well i'm excited for this one this is a kickboxer of the highest order he has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight the beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him he throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. To get us started with Ladies the official introductions, we go inside the, the veteran voice of the Octagon. Division. Here's Bruce Buffer. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Leon Rocky World. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Ghost Dog. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. The veteran Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. His opponent would be wise to get the goal. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. <laughs> yes, sir, it goes into the books as a first-round win by knockout, near-perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Ghost Rock. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork. <laughs>